Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to graph the given functions on the same screen. Sine of x, sine inverse of x, and y equals x, with this little domain restriction for sine. So we're asked how are these graphs related, and before we even graph anything, you should see that this is sine, this is its inverse, therefore they should be reflected across the line y equals x. We can see that if we graph them right here, I have it pulled up in Desmos, we can see that that is the case, right? So in red, we have the sine over that particular um, interval. In blue, we have the inverse function. And we can see that they are mirror images of each other over the green line y equals x. And the reason that we have this domain restriction, if I get rid of it, is because this is the whole sine function. And you can notice that it is not one-to-one. -one. If you follow my cursor, in a horizontal line, you can see it passes through the same function twice, therefore this is not a one-to-one -one function, therefore it cannot have an inverse. It can only have an inverse if we restrict its domain to negative pi over two to pi over two, and then we get this perfect match between the inverse and the function itself. 